I want to give a proof of a very simple fact, namely that the symmetric group of n on n letters, at least for n at least three, has a trivial center. In other words, there are no uh, elements in S n in the symmetric group that commutes with any other element. So in symbol we would write z, usually the center is denoted by z of S n is reduced to the identity. There are no other permutations, at least for n greater or equal than 3. So let's prove this. We do it by contradiction. And we look for um, a contradiction. So we assume that there exists an element sigma that commutes with any other element, namely it's in the center of Sn, uh, and it's different than the identity. Now this means that well, we can choose i and j, two distinct number, numbers between 1 and n, with i different from j and sigma of i equal to j. Now, because n is at least 3, we can also choose a third number different from these two. Now, we easily construct another element which doesn't commute with sigma. Namely, consider tau the cycle that exchanges i and k. So tau is the transposition ik. And let's take a look at the, pro at the composition tau composed with sigma applied to the number i. So sigma of i is equal to j, and then tau of j uh, doesn't do anything, so this is equal to j. On the other hand, if we compose sigma with tau and apply to i, then tau of i is equal to k, so this is uh, well, whatever sigma of k is, uh, but of course this cannot be equal to j, since uh, sigma of i is equal to j and sigma is a, a one one a mapping of uh, the numbers between 1 and n into itself. So here we reached a contradiction, since this uh, simple computation just showed that uh, the composition tau uh, and sigma is different than sigma and tau contrary to our assumption. Therefore, the only element in the center is the identity.